Hey everyone, hope you're having a good weekend. Today's video, we're gonna go through the new Tracer Suite desktop program. Um, as you guys are aware, usually what we do when we log on our Tracer UI, it's a web UI directly through the Tracer website. So we'd click on wallet, choose whatever wallet we have, and then log into our device. Now, Tracer has an actual desktop program that you can install. That way you don't have to do that at all. You can just log on directly from your computer without having to use a web browser, which I actually like. I think it's better for security. Okay guys, so once you're done installing the program, all you're gonna do is double click on Tracer Suite. The UI is gonna pop up for you. All you're gonna to wanna to do guys is put in your pin. And then once you're done doing that uh, and your device is plugged in, you'll see the screen that I'm on currently right now. So this is the main Tracer Suite desktop UI screen. Basically, it's gonna show you your portfolio amount. You can choose the time frames here, and then your assets down below. Um, if you don't see the asset that you currently want to be um, viewing, all you have to do is click on enable more coins. And if you're holding something like, let's say Bitcoin gold or something that's not enabled here, Dogecoin, all I would do is click that, hide the section, go back to my dashboard. And as you can see here, it now shows uh, Dogecoin, right? So this is the assets section on your dashboard. If we scroll down, it's gonna just show you some added security functions, your backup, your pin, pass phase enabled accounts, and discrete mode. Uh, what discrete mode does is just blacks out um, all your balances, right? Without hovering over them. Uh, kind of good, uh, kind of annoying if you forget to turn it off just because you, know, you can't kind of see things right away. Uh, so we're just gonna disable that right now. Uh, passphrase is a, I'm just gonna go over this real quick. So what it is, is it's an added security layer. So basically when you log into your Tracer device, we go here and just hit eject real quick. Back to the main screen. So what you're gonna see here is if I choose a passphrase account, what it creates is a, a hidden wallet, right? Now with a passphrase, when I choose enable, it's gonna ask me to put an added word into my account. So let's say, you know, I'm, I just for, you know, for an example, my added word would be uh, happy, right? So what that does is now when you log into your Tracer device, not only do you put your pin in, you now would put happy in here for your hidden wallet, right? And then once you hit access hidden wallet, this is gonna bring you to a whole separate wallet that's completely different than your standard wallet, right? With different addresses uh, for all of your tokens. What this does is it creates an added layer of security, right? So not only would somebody need your PIN, they would need your PIN and your passphrase to access those accounts. So what I do um, is if I have like, you know, a more of a high volume account with like more Bitcoin or more Ethereum, I use a hidden passphrase. So basically it's just an added layer of security. That way your tokens are just that much more uh, secure. So we're just gonna go back into the standard wallet here. We've gone through the main dashboard section um, just down below here, below the security section is a Tracer News section. So now what we're gonna do is go to accounts. And as you can see, all the tokens I have in my assets section, all the accounts are now here on my left-hand side. Now this looks a lot more like the typical web UI that you would see using the, desk, or the uh, web UI. And as you can see, my Bitcoin address account, you know, the typical overview, receive wallet, wallet address, send area where I would put in an address, amount of Bitcoin I wanted to send, fee, fee structure, and then send. Um, the trade tab is a section where you can actually choose to buy Bitcoin with like a credit card. So let's say I wanted to buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin in Canadian, I would just hit compare offers. And then Trades is gonna allow me to purchase Bitcoin, this amount right here for $1,000 using a credit card. I would just hit get this deal and I could purchase crypt, uh, crypto with my credit card. Let's go back to the Bitcoin address section here. Uh, the next thing that I wanted to discover and show you guys is the new changes to the Ethereum wallet, right? So before we'd have to go to, you know, uh, myetherwallet.com to access our Ethereum addresses. Now we don't need to do this anymore. We can just hit Ethereum. And then you can see basically my Ethereum section here, you know, my portfolio amount over time. And then all of the ERC20 tokens that you know I've had on my wallet or currently have in my wallet. Uh, please don't make fun of me guys, this was a long time ago. These ICOs probably aren't even around anymore. Um, but basically it just shows you everything in one place now. You no longer need to use my Ether wallet, which is awesome, uh, a very good update. So what I would do now is if I wanted to send an ERC20 token, I would just go to the send section and I can choose whatever ERC20 token that I want to send 
put the amount in and send just like I would uh, with any Ethereum that I wanted to trade as well. So that's an awesome update. Huge, huge, huge plus. I like it a lot. And then all the rest of my addresses here, right? And they're basically all the same thing. Same UI, nothing too crazy. Um, so this is a pretty much similar section to the web UI and I just wanted to run through this really quick with you guys. Um, if I go to the settings section here, just the general settings, language, currency that I wanna keep everything in, um, dark mode and light mode, put light mode on, things get bright really quick. So I'm just gonna leave this back on dark mode, um, app storage, and then you can check for updates here um, as well. And then obviously just device settings for your pin, firmware version, passphrase, and then coins is the same section here as um, the assets section on your dashboard. And that is pretty much it guys. Um, so that's the full desktop UI that you can install just by going to the Tracer website. I will put all the relevant links in the about section down below the video. If you guys like the content you're seeing, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.